So welcome. Uh, I'm Carl Taylor and this is Peter Moriarty oh, joining Hi. me as well. And this is the Entrepreneurs Rising show and we are here to announce the first episode. So Pete, tell us a little bit about why you are here on this show. Why am I here? Well, uh, Carl, I'm really glad to be here. Uh, I'm your friend and I guess technically a business associate as well. Uh, we've known each other for a number of years and I'm really interested in sharing what I think is a unique perspective uh, that we have on business, on the world, uh, on where we see things going with tech and the future of work and business. Uh, and for me, I'm really interested in sharing in the ideas of entrepreneurship, capitalism, uh, and the other fun stuff that we kind of chat and talk about. And this isn't just like, uh, let's take the Peter and Carl show on the road and talk about ourselves. Uh, this is hopefully going to be really valuable uh, for entrepreneurs who are building businesses, who are building lives and are looking for direction, looking well, for more entertainment. Than, more than hopefully, hopefully we're entertaining. <laughs> more, than, more than hopefully. We, we will make it add value. It will be. It will be. It will we, be valuable. Well, I know it will be. I know what I'm bringing to the table. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put, I'm going to put myself out there. And if that is valuable, then awesome. Yeah. Well, like, I, you know, the thing I really love about this show and why we've decided to do it is you and I have had a very similar journey in business in, you know, we both started businesses around the age of 15. We both started in IT. I've since left IT. You're still in IT. Although some could argue I'm kind of still in IT with, with my kind marketing of. agency. But, you know, we, we've kind of gone on these various different journeys. And we're also, I suppose, some of the few people that at least I know personally, that at a, you know, early 30s age are at a stage of life that there are people in their fifties and sixties that probably wish they were at this stage of life. And, you know, very grateful to have been able to build businesses to a point where we're not stuck in the day to day of this business. We've gone through that entrepreneurial journey, you know, all the way from self-employed up to now where we are in this leader and investor stage. And I just really excited to be able to share that journey with others to help them navigate, how, you know, wherever you're up to, you know, if, if you're currently a self-employed person, you're figuring out how do you move up to the next level of being a manager, we're going to be able to give you guidance and insight about that. If you're a manager going, how do I step up and be more like Pete and Carl in the leader investor stage, we're going to be able to share insights. And if you're like us and you're already at that leader investor stage and you're going, well, what else do you do once you're at this point and the business doesn't need me anymore? We got lots to talk about around that for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just really excited to be able to share our journeys, uh, share tips, advice, and bring our networks. I mean, we collectively, we have huge networks from around the world of amazing people in both business and in other areas of life, of health, uh, finance, wealth. And to be able to bring those, those people into the show and into people's lives, I think is really going to be valuable. So I'm excited to just contribute and, and give back. Awesome. I think we should call it what it is. It's financially free. Mm -hmm. uh, like we've, we both reached that financial free tick box. Now it doesn't necessarily mean retired. Uh, retired means early uh, enough money in the bank to never have to work again because you can live off the completely passive, uh, you know, income of investments and knowing both of our situations, we're not quite there yet. Um, Although it could be arguable with some we have, of your well, commission, I, I, commissions. I know for me, I, I have the cash flow for it. I don't necessarily have the asset, but I have the cash flow that uh, ticks that box. But I, yeah, see, to me, retirement is a choice. I actually don't define retirement the way you do that. I think retirement comes down to, there's a big movement around the world, the FIRE movement, financial independence, retire early. And there's a lot of people who say they've FI'd, they've financially independent. They just haven't retired early. Not because they don't have the cash, just because they haven't figured out what to do when you're life purpose doesn't revolve around who, how you identify as here's what I do in my job or business. And uh, I'm looking forward to talking about some of that stuff too. I think we're going to spend a whole episode on that. And I look forward and I look forward to that one. Uh, I think the interesting thing is, um, you know, where two people who have built a business and then uh, both in our own ways uh, decided to prioritize lifestyle. Um, and that doesn't mean 
we're digital nomads living on a beach doing, you know, a couple of hours of freelancing every now and again. It means that we've actually built businesses that we have been able to step out of in varying levels at different times. Um, but as you said, yes, having the income, uh, having the income that continues to come, uh, having the location freedom, having the freedom in the way that we want to work, uh, freedom to to actually be entrepreneurs, to create in the way that we want to create because we've we've designed that life around us. Uh, I think that's pretty powerful. And uh, yeah, I also look forward to sharing that, exploring that. Uh, and if that's something that can teach someone who's just starting out or someone who's got a really established business looking for some change or someone who's on the road and needs some motivation or a little bit of guidance, then uh, I think there's a lot of value there for us to share. You brought up another thing I think is really important to point out. In, in, in a way, I feel a bit like we're like trying to tell people why they should keep listening to us. And I guess in some ways we are saying that. Um, but you know, there are so many people out there who will call themselves gurus, who uh, or you know, fly the flag of I'm an expert and they've written their books. And yeah, look, you know, I've written two books too. Like it, it but there's, and, and there's nothing against if, if you're one of those people or you, you attend their courses, so do I, so does Pete. Like we're very much in that world. Most of my clients are coaches. I very much believe in coaches and experts, but there's also, there's a lot of people out there who are only maybe a few steps ahead of where you're at that you're learning from. And that's cool. That is totally cool to, to be able to learn from those. What I'm really excited about with Pete and I is, um, you know, when, like you said, we're not digital nomads that have just kind of got this free freedom lifestyle, maybe living off close to a hundred grand a year in times of freelance income or whatever we're doing. Like we both have seven figure businesses. We both have significant teams and we've been able to step out of that and be able to now design lives. And, and you talked about like, I think of three types of freedoms. I've got what I think of as financial freedom, right? Which is about your personal, your money side of things and making sure how do you have your investments and how are you taking care of that side? So you don't need money to live. You're no longer at that point where you're making decisions based on, can I afford this? Right. And then there's business freedom. If you're in the entrepreneurial world, what is, how do you get yourself out of the business? So the business actually gives you the freedom you wanted when you first started. Cause so many people, that's what drove them to start business in the first place. And then they got in the business and they lost a lot more freedom than they thought they were going to gain. Now they got maybe flexibility, but they didn't necessarily get freedom. And then the third type of freedom that I'm really passionate about now, and I know Pete is too, is what I've labeled emotional freedom which really is about the freedom in your own mind, you know, the couple of inches between each ear, what's going on up there? Because if you can sort that out, then it's when you've got those three, the trifecta of those freedoms, then you truly have the power to choose. Cause that's what freedom is to me, the power to choose. Yeah. And uh, time is that one resource that you can't buy more of. Uh, so that one's very, very important to optimize and, uh, and, you know, find leverage in other areas so you can optimize the time. Mm. And, and I think it's worth pointing out too, why is this show called Entrepreneurs Rising? Well, firstly, obviously we're entrepreneurs and we're hoping that you listening either are an entrepreneur or you're wanting to become an entrepreneur. Uh, where, whether it's your first business or whether you've been in business 20, 30, 40, 50 years, right? We'd love to have you listening and um, be able to even, share Even advice. for the non, non-entrepreneurs, like for many business owners, they don't identify as being an entrepreneur. Mm. I've been someone like that. Like I, I don't have a sexy Silicon Valley startup with, uh, you know, heaps of investor money and I'm not working out of a co-working space with a bunch of other people in their pajamas. Uh, but, but, you know, if you are a, a business owner, if you have started something, then you are an entrepreneur or if you are, we have a good friend of ours, Michael, who has taken on somebody else's business. He bought that business. He didn't start it, but he is now in the role of the entrepreneur, in the role of the CEO. So uh, you may not see yourself as an entrepreneur, but if you're running a business, if you're in a business, even if you're on a team in a business and not necessarily seeing yourself as someone uh, you know, leading it or calling the shots, uh, then I think there's still value in entrepreneurial thinking, even mm. if that's not your official title for, for yourself. Well said. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah. And, and so entrepreneurs rising entrepreneur, that's what we're hoping to be. We're talking to you and rising. What's the rising about? Well, entrepreneurship in our, my experience is very much a journey and it's a constant growth journey. And as you rise through that journey, you're growing, but I also am a big fundamental believer that as your own personal wealth and knowledge and experience grows, so too does the people around you. You become like the rising tide that is lifting all boats. 
And if you come from that space where you go, okay, the more money I have, the more time I have, the more freedom, the more knowledge I have, it's not something that you're just hoarding and holding to yourself. You're now looking at, well, how do I employ more people? How do I give back to the community? How do I get involved in community projects like Pete has? How do I contribute maybe to my favorite charity? Or how do I volunteer my time? Or how do we donate? Or whatever you want to do, how do I leave a legacy for my children? All of those things are about creating a rising tide that benefits more than just yourself. And I truly believe that that is one of the best things that can come from entrepreneurship. So that's why it's Entrepreneurs Rising. Awesome. I want to add to that. I think finding more time to do more of what you love and do things that light you up and, and design and create that life where you're doing things that you love, like that's the Holy grail. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, we've both been on a journey of that, of, uh, you know, finding ourselves with time. That's like the first step after you've built a successful business, you find yourself with time. Then you got to ask yourself the question of like, holy crap, what do I do now? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and un unwinding the patterns and, and everything else. Um, and also I think on that idea of growth in the business is intrinsically linked to your personal growth. Uh, there's a bottleneck there. Uh, and that bottleneck is that any limit you have on your personal growth will limit the growth of your business. 100%. Uh, and so to you, the listener who has maybe experienced periods in your business where things have gone up and then crashed and burned, or maybe they just stayed really stagnant for a long period of time and you couldn't really break through the growth. Uh, you would know that from time to time you have a personal breakthrough and then boom, immediately you have business breakthroughs that follow. Uh, and so I find myself saying that nearly once a day now, uh, that if you're not growing personally, then you're basically holding back uh, the business growth. And it's, it's really the, the people around you, your ability to lead, your ability to execute is all going to come down to how well you operate as a human. Uh, so we're going to be talking about some of that kind of stuff as well. Um, you know, Carl and I, are, you could call us pretty woo woo. Uh, we're into the, the spiritual and and, uh, and, you know, outside of the, the normal, uh, not normal, but outside of the, the more traditional, very logical um, uh, kind of like, you know, cut and dry business thinking world. Where it's Which is ironic. Strategy and execution. It's we ironic. Are, we we, we came guys. from IT guys. We're highly logical, <laughs> highly strategic thinkers. And yet we are we, highly logical. But I, see, the thing is, I think about that. If you are highly logical, you get to a certain point where the logic starts to question the structure of what the world Ooh. is told to be you. So Ooh. is it fully out of our uh, scope or have we just got to the point where we're now logically deconstructing what we've been told life should be? Ooh, talk spiritual to me, Carl. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, the, we're going to bring a bit of the woo-woo. A bit of, you know, we, it's going to be a lot of the business. It's going to probably be a lot of the woo-woo as well. Uh, but but I, I think, you know, my intention here is that we help uh, we help you on your path. This show, this show is for entrepreneurs. This show is not for the general public. This show is for people who are running businesses, who are running teams, running organisations, or aspire to. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna bring the downloads of our upgrades of what we've found and what we're thinking. And, uh, and we're just going to bring it as raw as possible. Carl mentioned gurus previously, and I, I think we've done a pretty good job over the last number of years, each of us in deconstructing our egos and really going on those journeys of like, who are we and what do we believe in and what do we want to do? And uh, you know, what are our values? Uh, and neither of us have got a, a, a sickening desire to be famous or to, uh, you know, sycophantically share, you know, you know, you know, bring on 10 different interviews a week or anything like that. Like we, we just really care about sharing this cool stuff. Mm. Uh, so I'm excited about that. And, uh, and hopefully our downloads can give you some upgrades. Yes. And before we wrap up this uh, very special episode, I also want to mention that, you know, if, if we haven't already touched on it, the fact is that for both you and I, more than half our lives have been spent on this business journey, right? Like that's one of the cool things is, yeah, you know, you might be listening to us now and going, wow, that sounds amazing. They've got a really great life. Or maybe you're going, I don't even believe it. It sounds too good to be true or what, whatever you might be thinking right now. Just know that it's taken us, well, at least for me, it was over a decade to get to this point. Um, and well, it's 15 years. You started yeah. when you were 15. Yeah, I oh, know. Yeah, and, and to exactly to get to this exact point, but it took, you know, I've, I've been financially free for a couple of years, but they, 
the, like it took over a decade to really see amazing success in business. So we're going to share mm. the challenges too. We're going to sh- like, we're not going to tell you do this one cool trick and everything will Im- improve in your and business. You, and your, face, your Facebook or Amazon drop shipping business will be <laughs> a million dollar business overnight. Yeah. Like, cause the reality is we've not lived that. And I'm really, I'm really passionate about speaking from experience. And when I share something, I far more, there'll be times, sure, I'll share something I've read out of a book or someone else's advice that I've, I think is valuable. But you'll find that nine really comes, um, 90% of what I'm sharing really comes from my own experience. So, yeah. Uh, it's the, final it's a school of hard knocks. <laughs> I think it's, it's such an interesting perspective. And, you know, maybe we should like finish off with the concept of like, why should you listen to us? Like, why are we, why are we credible in this stuff? Uh, you know, Carl's mentioned, we're running multi-million dollar businesses. We've reached that financial freedom. We've got the time freedom. Um, but we've also, we've just gone and done it. Uh, like, you know, n- neither of us went to university. Mm. Um, neither of us had parents that like lumped a whole bunch of cash in our bank accounts. Like we both started from zero. Uh, we both started literally when we were in high school and, uh, you know, interestingly, like we've had these parallels in how we started and what our journeys have been, but we didn't know each other, uh, uh, you know, until we met, um, five or six odd years ago. I can't remember exactly when it was, but the, the cool thing is, is that we're just going to share our personal experience of what that road has been like for us. And that's a pretty damn unique road. Okay. Maybe fast forward 10 years from today. You're going to have all of the entrepreneur generation that, that grew up with Snapchat and Gary V and got inspired to become entrepreneurs and went and became app developers and went and did their thing. You're going to have all those guys come through. That's going to be normal. But when I was in high school, when I was 17 years old and my friends were asking me, well, what university course do you want to do? And I said, well, no, I want to run a business. Like, I mean, I was already making money. I said, no, I want to run a business. And they were like, you're nuts. Like, you're freaking nuts. And, yep, that was my experience and, 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 too. And, and, and there wasn't a single person in my high school, you know, there were the guys who went and did their trades uh, and left after year 10. And there were those of us that went and did year 11 and year 12. And then everyone just went to university and that's the way it was. And, you know, I had like clearly something wrong with me. Uh, <laughs> and, and I said, no, no, you know what? I, I think I'm going to go it alone. I think I'm going to, you know, go make my own money. Uh, and that's an interesting story in itself, which will we'll cover our background stories, our, our origin stories. Um, but uh, I think we've got a unique perspective because of that many entrepreneurs went and did a career in corporate or they at least went to university or they did something else first and then came into it. And uh, interestingly, I've witnessed that many entrepreneurs, you know, will have kids and they'll have risk and they'll have mortgages and they have all these other things. Whereas Carl and I had no risk. We had no downside. Uh, And so there have been some interesting uh, journeys, interesting pathways along our journeys because of that unique perspective. And uh, we're going to share it. And I'm looking looking forward to that. Well, we're not just we're going to share our journey, but we also have others in our world who are on the entrepreneurial journey who do have kids and they do have all that risk. And we want to make sure that you do get a balanced view. And and sure, we're going to share our perspectives, but we're going to bring on people who we know are doing amazing things who can share what life's like for them. You know, we might even a future episode we might even have our partners come on and share what it's like to date an entrepreneur uh, as well. Like there are some really cool things that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to. So let's wrap up this episode and we really look forward to continuing to get to know you and for more importantly, you get to know us. We're very much going to be looking forward to your feedback and questions. So when you have things pop up or a specific episode, you'd love to hear from us. Don't be afraid to reach out and let us know. Um, and we look forward to coming, coming into your ears and being able to share what we can to help you rise and grow your business and become the entrepreneur you were born to be. So, Carl, where do people find us? We have a show URL. We'll have all of our socials and stuff like that linked there. Yeah, well, I think the easiest way people can find us will be at rising.show. And that's where we'll put all show notes, everything. And obviously, we'll be on your favorite podcasting device and app that you like to listen to as well. Awesome. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have notifications switched on if you've got that there. If you have uh, any ideas for shows, if you want to send us feedback, if you want to give us a rating, that would be amazing after this one show. You might not be ready yet, but we are okay with that. Uh, But please like and share and uh, we look forward to you coming along for the ride. Ciao.